I'm from Milwaukee, you know, and, and that's, that's why I'm an alcoholic, not because I'm Indian, you know, that's... And, uh, and I was just back there. It's kind of exciting because I'm kind of, you know, I've gotten pretty big back. Last time I was there, I got to sign this woman's breasts that Jeffrey Dahmer keeps in the freezer. So that was... <laughs> eh? The people that are funny know it's funny. Anyway, <laughs> you guys just got to come along with us. Come on, it's scary, but it's, it'll, you'll have a good time. Well, anyway, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. Like out here, it's weird. When people find out you're Native American, you have a lot of new agey people out there. Like, oh, cool, that's so neat, Jim. Can I touch you? Like, <laughs> go away. You know, I feel like I could take a crap, and they'd be like, oh, it smells so natural. Mm. <laughs> yeah, look close to some real Indian corn there. <laughs> that's right, maize. You could find the folks all over the place, these new agers, because they're all, these are the ones that hang the dream catchers from the rearview mirror of their Jeep Cherokees. <laughs> it's just very touching to me when I see it. I start crying and my friends freak out. They're like, what's the matter, Jim? Did somebody litter? Because <laughs> <laughs> my friends are jerks. So. They are. They'll go hunting in the fall. They want to bring me along as their tracker. <laughs> it's like, Dude, I grew up in the city. I'm more of a stalker. Okay. Mmm, <laughs> bitch, go that away. Those are my white friends. Yeah, actually, my last girlfriend was, uh, was non-native. She was white. And I, I actually felt bad about it. I felt bad, like I was letting my people down. Because I was like, man, my kids are going to be like a quarter. And then my grandkids would be an eighth. And they'd be like, Grandpa, are we Indian too? Like, no, you're just wannabes. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're going to have to pay taxes. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for me. Um, okay. Thank you.